Hello Rat Bags, it's Jade. Welcome to a Survival 2019 Roundup. I've been giving you guys loads of votes on my community section on YouTube and you guys have absolutely told me what are the best survival games to play over the last year or so. But right now I'm going to be rounding up today the best survival games that you voted for, the worst survival games and what you're really looking forward to in the future. The survival genre is alive and kicking despite what many people say. It's only got bigger, stronger and better and so many more games are tapping into the crafting, the gathering. Clearly, with so many people playing different types of survival games, there is a market for more and more. And console is finally starting to see more and more love. This year has been the biggest year ever for console survival game releases. Kicking off with the most hyped game you guys want to be playing in 2020. 5,000 votes took place before I actually deleted all the posts. And there is an absolute huge stonker of a winner coming this year. Bear in mind some of these games are already out on PC but they'll be coming to console in 2020 or they're brand new. Number 5, Grounded. Only 2% of the vote actually thought about this. I think you guys might have just missed the announcement. Imagine a Honey I Shrunk the Kid survival game. Ignore the cartoony cutesy graphics. This game is going to be huge when it launches. It's going to be going into game preview and the games pass on Xbox. It is an Xbox exclusive, which kind of doesn't really mean anything much more, as that's definitely going to be coming out on PC Windows 10 too. And with their announcement that they're producing all of their games on Steam as well, PC players are also going to get a chance to try Grounded. It's made by Obsidian, the guys that have literally just made Outer Worlds. A much smaller team, but nevertheless, I think Grounded is going to be huge when it comes out in early spring. Number 4, with only 5% of the vote, Dead Matter. This zombie game has been gestating for a number of years now. It was funded on Kickstarter and it's made by a very small team. They've been upsizing those since they've got that funding, absolutely smashing their goals and they've just been keeping the community updated with blog posts about how everything's going on. The alpha should be announced in the next few weeks. So finally, at long last, we're going to actually get to see proper gameplay rather than just dev videos of this zombie survival game. Much like many of the others, it's going to be PvP, PvE. You'll be able to build your own bases as well as obviously loot and ransack others. There is one fly in the ointment though. It's no longer going to be completely open world. The devs announced this just before Christmas and it caused a bit of a kerfuffle. They're actually trying to load it up as there's going to be distinct big playgrounds. So sections of the world you are going to have to travel to another part of the map via one specific spot. This has caused a lot of problems with players worried they're going to be shot and camped on as soon as they get to that point. I think a lot of games pretty much do this pretty well. I've not played much of it but it does remind me a little bit of Escape to Tarkov where you go into different areas I do believe and even games like Vigor it's quite interesting and fun looting an area in Vigor which is a free to play game and then having to run for the exit. Nevertheless only 5% of you are really excited for Dead Matter maybe because they just have no plans yet for console as it's still way too early in its lifetime. Stranded Deep at 12%. Yes, we know it's on PC and I'm about to start doing my let's play of it just to give you guys a heads up what to expect on console. But it is going to be coming to console in the very next few months. They're finalising the last few bits and bobs after a huge massive amount of problems getting their licensing back from the defunct Telltale Games. Nothing is going to be stopping Stranded Deep from finally appearing on Xbox and PS4 over a year after it was first announced and promised. Strand Deep isn't going to be a big multiplayer game, you're only going to be able to play it with either your friends in local split screen, possibly some multiplayer action, although that's not confirmed yet and I don't think that's going to be there for the release of it. Nevertheless, Strand Deep will add to more of the survival games on console and we still need even more of them. Sons of the Forest, at 16% of you guys are really hyped for this one. Announced out of nowhere at the Electronic Games Awards, this is going to be a crazy sequel to the Forest Scaries Horror Survival game. Looks like we're going back to the original islands and we may even be playing as Timmy. Facing off against all sorts of different mutants. Be interesting to see how Sons of the Forest plays out, whether or not it carries on with just the same sort of stuff or it leans a little bit more into first person horror. But of course, the king of what you guys want to play in 2020 is Rust. 65% of that's over 3,000 people. You guys are desperate to play it on console. It's been phenomenal on PC. It's still going massively strong and is the most popular survival game on PC. The creator just announced they've sold over 9 million copies alone on the PC platform. 
Rust is being ported over if you don't know already and it's looking like it's going to be coming to Xbox and PlayStation 4 exactly the same time with some sort of beta. And when I say a port, it's actually built up from the ground up by Double Eleven. The last Face Punch Studio blog of 2019 gives a tiny bit more information. First of all, explaining why it's taken so long to appear on console. First of all, Rust was in early access. We wanted to devote 100% of the time to the PC version. I don't think it would have been fair spending early access money to explore other platforms. Secondly, and this is a big swipe at games like Ark and Conan. There's a lot of rushed, short-sighted, low frame rate survival games on console and we didn't want to be in that group. If we release a console version, it's got to perform right and it's got to play right. It's got to be the best survival game you can get on a console. That is strong words. Rust has definitely got a lot to live up to now. I'm pretty sure it will end up being the biggest survival game on console. But now Gary, the creator, has literally said it's going to be the best version you can get. On a console, anyway. So you guys, yes, are absolutely desperate to play Rust. So am I. My channel is going to be big all over Rust when it's coming out. And expect to see a bit of a ramp up in live streams before then. Alrighty, what is the worst survival game of 2019? Some of you didn't like some of the options I put in here. Well, tough shit. <laughs> These games often get the most praise, but they also do get the most irate players. Mainly because the games are just so ambitious that sometimes they are some of the worst for bugs, problems and issues. 4,800 of you voted before I deleted the post. Number 5, Conan Exiles with only 6%. I think it's pretty clear to see that a lot of you guys actually are really enjoying Conan Exiles. And compared to a bunch of other games that you could play, it certainly doesn't have the same amount of problems as issues as some of the other games. It definitely has to iron out some lag and desync, and there's still a bunch of ton of bugs and problems and issues that have been around since early access. But no doubt about it, 6% of you were unhappy with the performance of Conan Exiles. With 8% of the vote, 7 days to die. Despite receiving rave reviews for its updates on PC this year, one of its highest player counts it's had in a long time, there's clearly still a bunch of you guys that are really unhappy with the way the game's progressed. Not to mention the problems and issues with console. If you don't know, 7 Days to Die is not going to be updated this generation on console. The creators the Fun Pimps pretty much have stated that although they now own the rights back for the game, which they managed to secure from the demise of Telltale Games, they won't be doing much with it until at least the next generation, when they're hopeful of maybe possibly releasing a brand new version of Seven Days to Die with all of the PC components then, but that still won't happen until the PC version has gone gold. Overall, the Fun Pimps, I've said it time and time again, really didn't do a very good job of keeping their community informed this year. Maybe that's why as 8% of you guys have said it's the worst game of 2019. Number 3, with 12% of the vote, DayZ. To be honest, this is probably going to be my number 1 game. It's a close call between what comes next, but honest to god, DayZ has been horrendous. The console version is literally like looking at a lump of butter and a fully made cake comparing it to the PC version. Lag, desync, unoptimized, a whole mess of problems, issues, glitches and bugs. Daisy simply has been one of the worst games I've played this year. Which is so frustrating because it can be one of the best. I'll say it again, I love when I come across another player. I love the idea that I'm in a post-apocalyptic world and I've got to find that loot. But god damn Daisy, can you not just fix the fucking game so I can pick my loot up? The Livonia DLC probably didn't do anything to stop people calling it a cash grab and simply put that's what it just feels like on console. Whether that's true or not, console has not received the love, care and attention and it absolutely should since it sold more copies on console than PC in the last year. But there we go, number 3, 12%. Number 2, Ark Survival Evolved with 19% of the vote. How can it be number 2 Jade? Why is it not number 1? It is honestly a toss up between any of these three games, Daisy, Ark and what I'm about to reveal. But clearly Ark's botched attempts, problems and issues this year have still not just been rectified. The developers couldn't even be bothered to put out a roadmap for problems and issues to be sorted this year, with various attempts at getting feedback just going ignored. They've certainly talked it up on Twitter and saying they're going to take feedback and they're going to be doing stuff, but their updates for this game, even though it's been out a number of years, have been very slim indeed. And worst of all, each update that's come out has broken the game further. 
I've been covering Art Survival Evolved since 2015. I can honestly say, hand on heart, this has been the worst year. For content, for bugs, for communication, Wildcard have absolutely ruined Ark this year. With no approach or caring about the duping situations on console still, the meshing still a massive issue ongoing, and still so many bugs, like being able to reload your fucking bow. The communication has been dire, they really haven't kept up with anything they've actually tried to do. Not to mention other issues like their Primitive Plus, the Valguero map being undercooked, underdeveloped and just not really being fit for full release. No doubt about it, 19% of you agree with me. I really hope next year we see Ark being down like number 5 or maybe not even in the top 5 worst games. I love this game so much, I just want the developers to keep us informed of what's going on and actually stop producing updates that make the game unplayable for days. But number one, with 55% of the vote, so over 2,500 votes, you guys voted Fallout 76. Now I copped a lot of abuse for putting this in the chart, but honest to god, it's a survival game. You need to eat and drink to keep your progress going. Sure, you might not necessarily die, but take that into effect with all the crafting, the base building, and the PvP modes that they now have with the survival beta, and of course the still watered down version of PvP in the base game, and Fallout 76, whether you like it or fucking not, is a survival game. Sure, it might have been a bit too easy to put this in here, knowing that a lot of people would choose for it, but there's no doubt about it, you can be the hardest fanboy of Bethesda you want. Fallout 76 has absolutely been a fire dumpster this year. Now I've included it in my top 15 survival games in the past, mainly because I can see so many good things about it. Huge world, various different biomes, lots of different creatures, lots of different crafting. It should be every survival player's wet dream. But like it or not, the last year the developers have time and time again done some really shady shit. Like selling microtransactions after saying they would not affect gameplay. Barefaced liar, they've now flooded the market with them. Like offering a subscription service, which doesn't even give you a proper private server. Instead, it only allows you to just play with friends on your own private world. But when you log off, your friends will have to log off too, unless they also own the subscription. So I could pick on Fallout 76 all day. It's such a shame they didn't do a Rainbow Six Siege and actually try and improve the game, rather than continuously just keep breaking it also with more updates. Huge nerfs and problems with balancing, Take away all the hate bait, the game really hasn't progressed as much as most people would like. There's still lots of day one bugs from last year in it. And from a AAA studio like Bethesda, this just simply isn't good enough. Could Fallout 76 turn a corner next year? I really don't think so. There's definitely a small hardcore following with it. And that's all Bethesda really care about, because they're the idiots that are buying the stuff from the microtransaction store and paying for the stupid subscriptions. I would like to see Fallout 76 do something fantastic next year. Abolish the subscription service, give everyone the chance to host their own private world. And I think that could be the road to redemption for this troubled game. Anywho, let's get a bit more positive with the top five survival games you guys voted for. I left this one up longest, it's got six and a half thousand votes. At number five with 11% DayZ. Despite their many issues I just mentioned, there is some fun to be had with this game when it's working correctly. The fact that it's been so long and console players have been desperate to play this for such a long time. Undoubtedly, I could not put it in the top 5 survival games, mainly because I know so many of you guys enjoy it. And that's simply true given the amount of people that voted. 11% of you said Daisy, despite its problems, deserves its 11% of the share. Number 4. Rust with 12%. Considering this game's not even out on console yet, the fact it's already beaten DayZ is your favourite game, I think speaks volumes. I fully expect to see Rust number one next year. But for now, you're going to have to just keep watching all them beautifully crafted YouTube videos from PC players and stick to my news updates about what to expect, when it's happening and what's going on. But you guys absolutely love the anarchy from the PvP of Rust. Number 3 with 15% of the vote, Conan Exiles. To be honest, I'm a bit surprised this isn't a bit higher. Considering the game went free to play on the PlayStation 4 this year as part of PS Plus, various free weekends, and a continuation of new fresh content. Yes, they had paid DLC as well, 
but they also produced a huge amount of content for the game that was free, but it's still respectable and number 3 in the list isn't too shabby. 15% of you think Conan Exiles is the best survival game of 2019. Number 2! Guys, I had to put this in here. Some of you may still disagree just like you did with Fallout 76. But for me, it is still the granddaddy of survival. Minecraft with 25%. In my previous 15 best survival games on console, I only included Minecraft as an extra bonus game. Mainly because I felt like Minecraft had gotten away from survival and it was more just a case of playing something that was very much a sandbox and creative game. But in the last year, 18 months, they really have worked harder at putting more items in the game that open up the crafting, that open up the exploration. And of course, the big resurgence on YouTube in Minecraft videos and content and the player base swelling once more, I think is definitely a good reason to put it back in the survival game genre. You can agree, disagree with that. I don't care. I'm building my never portal. And with over 213,000 views on a video I did two weeks ago, it's safe to say that I'm becoming a Minecraft channel. Well, maybe that's not true. But nevertheless, it really sparked my enthusiasm for this game once more, so I'm going to be playing it a lot more on my Mixer livestream. And that leaves number one as Ark Survival Evolved with 37% of the vote. That's around 2,000 votes. I really think this shows how so many people view Ark. So many people love the game, but they don't like the bugs and problems. But nevertheless, it's still one of the best survival games out there, despite all of that. According to you guys, anyway. Now, there are some claims that I'm just an ARC YouTuber, and of course, it would always be the winner. But as I've said and pointed out, my biggest videos this year have not been ARC. It doesn't even make it into the top 10 with my most viewed video this year. And I've really stripped back. I barely do one or two videos a week. Only when we've got big content and big updates will I keep you guys a little bit more informed. No loaded clickbait here. I think what it really does show with that big proportion of people saying it's the best is that it simply has got the biggest player base. 16 million people play Ark Survival Evolved on Xbox, PlayStation and PC. Not to mention how many might play it on mobile too. We won't talk about Nintendo Switch since no one else does. Not even the developers. You guys absolutely still love your dinosaurs. You love that exploration. And you're obviously looking forward to Genesis. I'll be there. Hating and loving Ark every single minute of the day. Giving you everything you need to know about the new DLC that's coming out. But 37% of you voted Ark as the best survival game 2019. A big shout out to everyone that voted. I didn't really get a chance to put everyone's comments in this video. But I do want to say a big shout out and thank you to all my patrons. Agree, disagree, go and watch the rest of my survival game 2019 roundups. And stay tuned for some more fresh focus content in 2020. I'm going to be hitting Stranded Deep in a big way very soon. Osiris New Dawn, Journey to a Savage Planet, Ark Genesis. And of course delivering you guys all the news on games like Rust, Sons of the Forest, New World, and of course Conan Exiles. Until then, have a great New Year's Eve, and I'll see you ratbags in 2020.